welcome guy this is Edwin I'm doing some cleanup on some of my customs and some of the productions that I've been using and carrying around and in this case I wanted to make a quick video on how I do clean the micarta on the customs really really easy this is my CQC6 like you can see here I know I need to make a video about this legendary tactical blade you know this is something I really enjoy carrying and you know we'll talk about it I'll make an official video on it the CQC5 the super CQC6 and the CQC6 right here right and again but today I want to clean up the micarta and like right now you can see you know when you carry that piece it will get some characters it will capture your oils and all that and it's really easy if you want to take that out and clean it off and make it brand new and that's what I'm going to show you again one of the things I really really like about Emerson knives is that they use simplistic uh, hardware Phillips screws flat screws nothing fancy very very nice and guys I love that okay in my custom in my production knives I don't need to have any special tool to you know disassemble it and in the, again in this case I'm focusing on the micarta because I know I haven't used this piece that much so I know that internally it should be brand new I just want to clean up the micarta on the CQC6 but this process that I'm doing here is the same process I will follow when I want to disassemble the whole knife and clean up the whole thing, okay? Now, I usually use my fingers to guide my screwdriver, so be aware of that. And again, I'm not in my office, in my normal setup. Again, let me remove the screwdrivers and you can see, right? And like I have mentioned in the past, you should see a stamp right there that he used in his custom when he's numbering them or the prototypes and I will literally take some Dawn or you know some dishwasher soap and, uh, and water and dump that right there okay very straightforward guys you know I this is uh, one of the things I love my card uh, uh, you know on G10 and all that is super easy to to clean up you know if I'm using it for grilling or prep food and all that this is the way I will clean up that piece. You know, let me show you right here. Again, you can see how that stamp in that custom match with that number two, right? Now, this one is the other micarta scale. I will drop it in the water and let me show you what I do. I literally take, you know, a brush and I will just brush this and then, and that will be it guys. It will be that easy, you know? Nothing fancy. On both sides. Put it there. And then I'll go to the kitchen and rinse the whole piece, right? And, you know, the whole micarta. And let it dry for 10 minutes, 15 minutes, I will say. It will dry pretty fast, guys, okay? And now I will take this, rinse it, and I will come back in the video and show you when it's fully dry, okay? Okay, we're back. It's probably been 10 minutes or so, and you can see how that micarta looks now, right? Before it was a little bit brownish, you can see a lot of the texture, right? Right now, it's removed all that oils, right, that the micarta grab when you're carrying it, and it's basically brand new. Okay, this is just, right now I still have a little bit of wet hands there. And guys, we'll put it back very straightforward and we are done. That easy, guys. Okay, I'm going to put it back right here so we can take a look. The final piece and very, very straightforward. And guys, this is one of the reasons I love micarta and this style of setup you know if i want to clean up the micarta i don't need to remove the whole piece i just remove those scales and that's it you know anyone can do this you don't need to be worried about you know cleaning your costume you know it's very very easy let me show you real quick just so you get a little bit of that view on the final product and you see now you have that brand new look, right? That greenish look of that classic micarta. In this case, the CQC6, 
six. Okay, beautiful, beautiful piece. And like I mentioned, I'm aware I need to do some videos on this guy and I will. Definitely one of my favorite. Guys, thank you for watching. Like you know, you can find me on Instagram or in YouTube right here. Make sure to make a comment. And again, caloblade.com. I do have all the links right there that you can follow me and, you know, enjoy the community and the sharing that we have around in this case. Okay. You guys have a great day out there. Bye.